Good morning, everybody. <laughs> ah, right, so <laughs> I wanted to start this morning or this day in the life off earlier, and it is still really early, but we've had a power cut and it's just been obviously not health, I mean, it's not that bad, but it just means that we haven't had any electricity, so I haven't had a cup of coffee, I haven't just been able to do what I usually do in the morning, or taste, whether it's put dishwasher on or put the wash on, it just, yeah. So, um, yeah, the, we've got a power cut because the weather's pretty bad. It's It's been on and off all night, hasn't it? I woke up about three o'clock and the lights were off. And then they used to go beep and start flashing and everything's flashing. And it was literally doing that all night. <coughs> so, yeah, it's just we've had a lot of crazy wind up here and it's Why raining now, which is even more depressing. But, um, yeah, what's the time? It's five to eight. We are going to head off on the school run very shortly. And I'm getting my nails done. I think I might... I don't know why, but I always tend to, like, trim my nails a little bit first. See how long they are. Sometimes I don't like it when they file... You know, when they file them down? It makes me cringe a little bit. And they're quite... Especially these ones, they're quite long. So I might trim them a little bit. But I'm getting my nails done with a lady from school. Um, I... I haven't had, been having my nails done at all recently. They have, the the salon that I go to, I love, and I still have my eyelashes done there, but they've put the prices up for the nails. I can't justify 28 pounds every two weeks. It's, they don't even last, I swear they haven't even been lasting me two weeks and I just can't justify at the moment. But the lady at the school, she does gel nails from her home and she charges 10 pounds. And I was like, yes! Book me in. So she's booked me in for this morning straight after school run. Light, as we are literally leaving, the electric has come back on. I'm so annoyed. Daddy, Daddy, sorry. Ah. Oh. Phyllis. Ooh. Is it still raining? Yeah. Can you put your stuff in the car and then um, we need to feed Peter Rabbit? Run. So I am done school run i have had my nails done i'm really happy 10 pounds and one absolute bargain i've already booked her in for two weeks um i got the choco latte i think it was called i was gonna go for a red but i really just i don't know, was drawn to this color i've just been into starbucks because obviously this morning we've had no electricity and i really fancied a coffee I don't usually go to Starbucks. I think it's really kind of expensive. Um, but I thought I would try their Toffee Nut, one of the Christmas um, drinks. This is a skinny Toffee Nut. I thought I would go a bit skinny on it because obviously these ones are really, really heavy sugared. We should have gone gingerbread latte. It's super sweet. And usually I don't have coffee. Um, I don't have sugar in my coffee or tea. So this is a bit like... But anyway, um, I have come to Salisbury. I've gone up to the Southampton Road which is where all the kind of big retail parks shops are um I yeah have just gone to Starbucks but now I'm gonna pop into the big B&M up here the advents in B&M we've got Reese's one that's just under five quid um there's the swizzle so all this sort of old school sweets we've got Kinder McVitie's biscuits Haribo celebrations millions some more of these for my airwick plug-in um i'm not sure that's, that's double so i suppose that'd be better value i don't think i've tried vanilla i got these little uh re-diffusers mold wine christmasy scent you've got spiced apple yeah that'd be quite nice the electric wax um melters here they're only 5.49 that's such a good deal and you get a smelly as well you get a wax to go in it so many cool like bath fizzes and sort of really good stocking stuffers you know so much hair stuff as well like these are like a pound all those clips super cute tempted by these little hooded blankets look how cute they are <laughs> like unicorns how adorable is that? These cool sort of um, copper and marble collection. They've got the kettle. I really like this one actually. They've got a really cool Christmas section with all the jumpers, socks. Look at these slipper socks. Cool Christmas hats. Little kids ones. There's PJs for the kids. Really good value. 
five. So much Christmas. Oh my God, there is so much. I'm just, it's taking me ages to get through it all. <laughs> Look at it, tinsel. I love it. This tacky outdoor stuff. Absolutely peeing it down. Still got my coffee. It was boiling hot earlier, so actually it's proper temperature now, like drinking temperature. Um, it is already half past 11. I was in there for like over an hour. <sighs> I only spent £57 though, which is actually quite good because you can just go crazy in there. They've got some really nice stuff. And actually when I sort out our room and obviously our en suite's done, um, I'm gonna go back in there because they've just got lots of things that I kind of need. Shouldn't, but I forgot they've got a, I don't know if you can see that through there. Oh, you can't. It's home bargains. And then they've got pets at home. So I am gonna go in home bargains as well. Spice Girls tickets. Me and my friends are hopefully getting some on Saturday. I'm actually relying on them because I'm doing overtime. But um, yeah, I can't wait. I really, I really hope we can get some tickets. I'm not sure where we're going to do it, either Bristol or Manchester, I think. Um, but we're going to do it as my friend Hendu. She's getting married next year. I am home and I'm actually going to film a haul because I have got quite a lot of stuff from B&M and Home Bargains. You may see this video before this maybe, I have no idea. But I'm gonna do that quick and then I'm going to get some lunch and then walk the dogs. Good morning everybody, so it is Thursday. Um, bit of a palaver yesterday because, well, hang on. We did that. It's, ooh. Santa Claus 2's on, yay! So, bit of a palaver yesterday. Um, I, what did I do? I came in, I had lunch, did that, did a video like I said I was gonna do. I thought I'd just film it and then get it all packed away. I had a bit of a moment of madness and I sorted out, uh, Violet's got big massive double wardrobes and at the top there was just so much stuff up there. We're having new, uh, we've had a new hatch put in for the loft. Um, and we were having new boards obviously put in so we can put more stuff up in the loft so I just organize loads of like our wedding photos and stuff like that and and they are ready to go up in the loft once we get the boards down but anyway um, I put my camera on charge because it was completely dead because I used it while filming my haul and I went to pick up the children and then when I came home, we had no electric again. <laughs> so I was like, God's sake, we literally, so it didn't get charged at all. Um, it didn't come back on until like, I don't know, quarter to four, four o'clock, something like that. I had my dad here for dinner. And yeah, basically the day went, didn't it? The day went. So I thought I would revisit this vlog and try and stick some more content on it. So it's not too boring. Um, although today I've not really got a massive amount planned apart from I teach the um, school children, like teenagers, spinning. Um, so I do that from half 11 till 12.45. Um, and then I've got an hour, extra hour at work that I need to do. So, um, the only thing that I didn't get yesterday, which I couldn't find, is I couldn't find any storage boxes for my Halloween stuff that I was going on about. So I've got this extra stuff that I really need. This is basically the new bits that I picked up. This is a Wilco, Home Sense, Home Sense, Home Sense, Pound Store, Pound Store. But these are all kind of like, they really need wrapping up and putting in a nice box. Um, and then this is the rest of the, my Halloween stuff. So a quick update of the um, ensuite. So really not much has changed apart from, I told you they put a new hatch in because we wanted that. So that obviously needs plastering and painting and this wall needs plastering. That's the next thing on the job. They've put an extra hole here, I think for the stretch fan. And they have got some spotlights in. Um, oh, I don't want to focus, but we're also having an extractor fan light here. Um, and they've put a extension to a tap outside of this wall so we can, uh, you know, have a hose to do our veg garden, which is one thing we've wanted for ages. Um, we've also got an electric socket here for, uh, we're gonna have a long, thin electric radiator. Um, and then, yeah, so basically, they're gonna be moving these pipes along here, or somehow, uh, along here. So we're gonna have our showers like this coming out. Um, and then our base is gonna be really long. It's a massive one, it's like a double shower size. Um, and then we're gonna literally just have one glass panel um, with a little opening here. So you can just walk in and use the shower. And then obviously, normal sink and normal toilet. 
So yeah, it's gonna be quite spacious. And then my visions are, once that's all done, um, I wanna get a sliding door. So this wall is gonna be blank. So we're gonna get a door that just slides in so you can have it open or shut. And it saves space as well because we're still gonna have our bed here. So yeah, that's uh, not much progress, but that was a week ago. Really, really windy. <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, fed Peter Rabbit and I obviously took the kids to school. Getting a bit of fresh air. It's actually really nice. It's, oh, it's probably the coldest it's been all week though. It's been pretty mild this week. Hey, did you have fun? You can spot the pigs. Piggies. Rooting around. Look at their big ears. <laughs> so cute. Right, come on dogs. Yeah, we've got some really crap news actually about um, about Wiggy, our pig that we've had for about, oh, about five years, I think now. Well, she can no longer have babies. I think I already mentioned that. She just doesn't, cannot get her pregnant basically. So Graham keeps her because she's like a pet. We love her. Recently found out that, or noticed, that she started walking on her elbows. She, she is a big pig, she's a big mummy pig, she carries a lot of weight and um, she's got a bit of art arthritis and yeah we've only kind of got three options, we're trying to treat it at the moment so that is like kind of our main option, Graham's like oh let me just treat her so we're gonna give, we've been giving her antibiotics and steroids to help see if it uh, makes any difference and she gets her back on her feet but obviously with the winter here like coming like worth the worst of wet weather you can't have her um, walking around on her elbow she just get infections and stuff so unless she, she doesn't <coughs> I think it's because the sun's behind me you know she doesn't get on her feet basically our only other choice is horrible to say it and it's kind of our last option is she well because she's got um, arthritis or she's classed as like she's got like her um, abnormality uh, abattoirs won't take um, animals with abnormality she's classed as condemned so we'd have to do a home kill which we've done before last year and it's well, to be honest, I just didn't like it. I was like, I didn't, like, if it happens again, it would happen down in the yard. Like, I do not want it up here again. It traumatised me anyway. Um, or she has to go off to the incinerator, which sounds flipping vile. So, yeah, it's just really sad, to be honest. And Graham's doing all he can to, like, try and treat her and hopefully she get back on her feet. Blimey. It started pouring down. We literally just made it back in time. Oh, right, I'm actually going to be just doing a bit of editing now. That's what I'm going to sit down and do. And then I'm going to leave about quarter to 11 and see if I can, we've got like a storage place in our town locally where I go to my work. So I'm going to pop in there before I go to work um, and see if I can find a nice storage box, a big storage box. I might get a couple actually because I've got Quite a lot of stuff uh, for other things as well. I've been organising. See if I organised the above the fridges, fridge freezers. Um, it was literally jammed full of stuff. This is stuff that was on top of the um, fridge freezers. This is like barbecuey stuff, like um, you know, we give picnics and barbecue plates and just loads of stuff really. So I'm that's going to go in the loft. The baby box, oh my God. Violet was having a field day with this stuff, but this was their baby stuff. Because obviously we didn't know what we were having with them. It was always gender neutral. Um, so I just, I can't get rid of it. I just want to keep it forever. Uh, this is all mother care stuff. <clears throat> Getting on to 10 years old, if not 10 years old actually, because I know I bought it before I was even born. But yeah, look, this little sheep. Um, and then all their baby stuff in here, like keepsake stuff, their shoes. See, it melts me, it melts me. Oh, my camera needs to charge as well, so I'll probably see you in about an hour or so. I'm home. Oh, I feel absolutely shattered. I swear, like, I get such a good workout. I mean, I swear the kids don't do, I mean, they do okay, but they don't put as much effort in, I think, even as me. 
So one hour spin is done and I feel cold. You know when you get hot and sweaty and then you get that sort of cool down and you feel like bitter cold to the bone, that's where I am because I had to stay at work for an extra hour as well. So oh, it's like 20 to two. Oh, time to sit down with lunch. I have got myself a, oh, it's hard to see without it falling out, gammon ham salad with some boiled eggs, a little bit of hummus, some tomatoes, and my water. I'm gonna chill out, I've had my shower bath. It's two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need to get ready. Please tell me other people watch Impractical Jokers on Comedy Extra. We have only literally been watching it for like, hang on, let me pause it. For like, week and a half, like just the odd episode. So funny, if you just want to giggle, watch it. This is what it is, by the way, if you were uh, wondering. It's called Practical Jokers. And whoever gets a thumbs down, gets more thumbs downs, has like a, a forfeit at the end. I need to get ready, I've got like 20 minutes before I've got to get the kids. I also got some boxes actually from my local surplus store. So this one was 5.49. And then I got this longer one as well. I didn't think they were bad prices actually. It's back home. Oh, just walking the dogs again. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, cow. That's funny. He's having a drink in the water draft. Oh, legged it. Oh, big goes. Not zoom in anymore, but there is Miss Wiggy. Bless her. Loving life. She has got out because she was in the house, house yeah, um, earlier. Time for tea and a iced mince pie. Hell yes. It's Santa Claus 2. You were watching Santa Claus 3, weren't you, this morning? Yeah. We've got cups of tea and I've got washing to fold, which is never ending. Okay, I am just starting on dinner. It is five to five, so really late. We've just been sat watching a film chilling out i am so cold though um i need to get graham to get the rayburn going um i'm good at ki like firing it up and like keeping it going throughout the day but when it needs to like start from scratch i just have no idea how to like get a fire going which sounds really bad but now we are having chorizo with cod and mixed beans this is like a tomato based um kind of fish dish um i've got i do have a recipe it's so easy and it's really really delicious and i'm gonna serve it just with some easy easy rice so i've literally just um fried off the chorizo um i've just bought the easy stuff that was already cut up um this comes in like a pack of two uh, tomatoes tomato puree i'm gonna add the mixed beans and then i literally just add in the fish and some spinach last so you said it almost kind of fits, but you got like a little bit of gap. Oh, okay. Don't oh, phew, so it's actually not because it's too small. No. Shower tray dilemma. Shower tray dilemma. So he's had this idea, which kind of isn't a bad idea. Okay. He's, either, he's gonna have to make a, something up to fill in the gap. Basically, it's gonna be done before December. Yeah? Yeah, it needs to be. Yes. He needs more money. <laughs> he needs more money. Got spring greens as well. Oh, I'm up in there. Basically, we are gonna have a little shelf at the bottom, at the as you walk in, yeah? Great? Yeah, just inside up on the right, so opposite where the shower will be. Because there's a little bit of a gap where the tray doesn't fully fit because it's it's a massive space anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Um so yeah, we're gonna have a little shelf, which actually is perfect because we need something obviously for like shampoos, conditioners and shower gels and stuff. Be better than just having nothing, won't it? Or having those sucky things that go on the walls. The floor. Yeah. Or drilling holes in the wall. Yeah. And Graham got me this. This is um, makeup chocolate because he's going to quiz night tonight. So this is my treat. Oh, how good does that look? Just gonna dish up. Clean up done. I'm actually gonna mop the floor once um, the kids are in bed and Graham's gone out. 
I just want to get it done yet. It's one of those chores of the week that I haven't done yet, and it's Thursday. I'll mad him to bed. No! I need to pick a story. Oh, yeah. Quick, pick a story. I've got that big bed down there. Oh, I'll get these kids to bed. Um, which one? I don't know. Which one do you want? I've got a magazine. I've got about three magazines. No, let's just go with the story. Yeah. This one. Poop the princess. Oh, yes. Snowman and the snow dog, that one is, isn't it? Yeah, snowman and snow dog. Cool. And so <coughs> what with my little teddy bear? My little teddy bear. Putting out the cupboards up there. This, these big ones up there. I had a big box of just like really random stuff, like from when I was a teenager. And baby of, stuff when I was Just a loads of stuff. Just, you know, you just don't want to get rid of it. It just holds so much memories. But uh, this bear was up there, and honestly, I don't know where it's come from. And Graham was, I said to Graham, did you buy me this? And he was like, oh, I just don't think so, I don't know. And I'm like, maybe it's from an ex, ex-boyfriend, years, years ago. Were well, you a teenager boyfriend? Yeah, I, honestly, I don't know where Who it's come it? from. <laughs> Stop it. Hey? Stop it. <laughs> right, let's just read the book. One stone, let's get it done. Um, this is the new one, The Princess. You haven't, got, you haven't got this one, have you? You've got all the others. I'm not sure how well you can see me because I've just turned the lights down. I've just got the little side lights on. Anyway, uh, Grim has gone off to quiz and I am going to watch... Every time he goes to quiz night, I tend to like try and find a film to watch. Um, but I know that he probably won't watch. So a lot of them are like chick flicks, romance ones, you know. But tonight I'm actually going to watch Black Swan. Um, this, I have seen this before. It's, it's 2010. It's the one with Natalie Portman in. She's a ballerina. Um, and it's 15. It's definitely like, it says it's a psychological drama. I have seen it before, but years ago. I can't really remember it that much. But I remember it being good. So I'm pretty much just going to... Have a nice little evening watching that. Graham got me a dairy milk fruit and nut, which is my favourite. I definitely won't eat the whole bar because this is a big bar. This is like 110 grams. I'll probably go through half of it. And I've got a nice cup of tea. But um, yeah, I'm going to end my video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got any video requests. And I will hopefully catch you all next week.